friends and artists. Mrs. Gordon here. Happy to see you. Um, I am so excited uh, because for the month of March, the month of April, and the month of May, we're going to be talking about three different time periods in art. So a time period is like a period of art is starts at a certain time, ends at a certain time. It's when a certain style of art became popular or well used. Um, so for the month of March, we're going to be talking all about the Impressionists, which are a very famous style of art uh, that started in 1867 and went on for about the next 20 years. It originated in France, but it took place in other places too, like America and um, other places in Europe. Um, and then later in the ha second half of March, we're going to talk about some post-Impressionist um, artists. So that's the, the people who came just right after the Impressionists, so 1886 to, to 1905. So another kind of quick 20 years there. Not that 20 years is quick. 20 years feels like a long time to you. It's beginning to feel very short to Mrs. Gordon. Um, so you just watched a video on the Impressionist artist, Mr. Claude Monet, from, that was created by the Tate Modern Gallery in England. Uh, and let's talk a little bit about what Impressionist art is. The thing is, Impressionist artists were not trying to paint a reflection of real life. They were not trying to make an actual mirror image of their, their what they saw. Um, they were trying to create an impression of what the person or the light or the atmosphere or the object or the landscape looked like to them and what it felt like to them. Um, and that's why they were called the Impressionists. They tried to capture the moment in life of what they saw and show it to us if it was happening before our eyes, if we were standing there. Um, before Impressionist landscapes in art were often imaginary, perfect landscapes creating in a studio. So you see here, so the artists for this probably had these three people or maybe even one person posing three times over in the studio. And then he created an imaginary um, landscape kind of behind him. So he, it was a realistic landscape, but it was from his imagination. Um, the Impressionists changed all that. They went outside, they painted outside. Uh, they call it in French painting en plein air, which means in the full air, outside in all of its glory. As they were outside, they looked at how the light and the color changed in the scenes. Um, they often painted thickly and used quick and quite messy uh, brush strokes. So we're going to try to get a little messy today using our crayons. Um, don't worry, parents, not messy using paint. In most of the scenes, in most of the paintings before Impressionism, you can't really see the brush strokes at all. But uh, you see how it's very smooth. But here, you really see the brush strokes, and it looks thick and messy. So we're going for an Impressionist painting today. And we're going for a cityscape inspired by the wonderful artist, artist, Mr. Claude Monet. Mr. Claude Monet is probably most famous for his paintings of water lilies at Giverny in France. Um, and you see here, you see the brush strokes. You see how he mixed colors together, how he didn't just use one color green. He used green, lots of kind of different color greens and yellows and even some purples and reds in there. In the water, you see purples and blues and uh, reds, and you see greens and yellows. We're going to be making a landscape inspired by Mr. Or pardon me, a cityscape inspired by Mr. Claude Monet. So we're going to put in a silhouette of a city with a reflection and some water, and then we're going to mix a lot of colors for that cityscape and mix a lot of colors for our background. Um, you see here, you know, in the city, you see in the buildings of the city, you see dark blues and purples and greens, like kind of different green colors. And then in the water, you see how it becomes even more messy, like you see kind of the horizontal lines of the water. And in the water, you see yellows and purples and oranges and pinks, you know, the reflection of the sky. Um, so we're going to create a cityscape today inspired by Mr. Claude Monet. Just love it. And here is my example. Um, and so I actually did more, I did more of like a, um, a sunset -y colors and I didn't really reflect the colors as much. Maybe I'll do that in this one. But you'll see here I created a landscape. I mixed the colors. I mixed pinks and reds and blues and purples. And then the water, I mixed all different kinds of blues and I used warm colors up here. 
Um, so this is your art to make it as you want. A couple things. We're going to use crayons today. We're going to use paper. Um, we're going to get messy with our crayons. We're not trying to be perfect. We're going to blend a lot of colors together. Um, so let's get started. Okay. All right. First thing you're going to want to do is to hold your paper horizontally. Please remember that you can pause the video at any time if I am moving too fast. Uh, but hold the paper horizontally. That's wide. Okay, wide and short instead of tall and narrow. And then you're going to take the top down to meet the bottom. This is going to create our horizon line. And we're going to draw our cityscape above it. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of draw a line where the buildings might end and the water might begin. And then I'm just going to go ahead and Use probably a castle line to draw in my cityscape. I did add a little zigzag here. And then under, I'm not going to worry about underneath it yet. I'm going to come back to that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start coloring. I'm going to use dark colors for this, but I'm going to use purples. I'm going to use um, darker purple. I'm going to use maybe some reds. Um, definitely some blues, right, to color in this. I could maybe even add some yellows, like if there were lights in the windows. So I'm going to just kind of start, oh, maybe I'll start with the color I started with. So I'm not trying to get, be super neat and tidy today. Uh, I'm coloring in very quickly keeping an eye on my time because I've got a class starting soon. I'm um, just getting it down there, friends. And when I color in when I color in the water, um, when I color in my the reflection of my buildings on the water. I'm going to be even messier. Okay, so that's my first pass of color. I might come through here with some yellow, and maybe I'm going to lay my crayon on its side and rub a little bit. Maybe it make it look like there are some lights shining in there. Just trying to give the feeling of a city shutting down on a, maybe it's a warm day, warm summer day, I don't know. Start to think about that. I mean, the greatest thing is that you go out and do this, you know, in life. Now, it's starting to feel a little warm for me, and so I might come in and add in um, some more cool colors, I think. So, let's see. And I can see my crayon strokes, like I could see their brush strokes, and I could see the colors mixing together, and I'm enjoying what they're looking like as they start to blend and mix together. And I'm even going outside of the lines a little bit. That's okay, because we're going quickly. We're trying to be loose and free and not so tight and controlled like the... Um, like the impressionists were. Okay, so now I'm going to try to get the um, shape of my um, my water down here, and I'm going to use horizontally to kind of like I'm going to make a little mark here because that's about that seems to match the distance from that, and I'm just going to go kind of back and forth, and then I'm going to make a little another mark, and I'm just going to kind of do the shape of that building. Now this one's a little shorter. But it was taller than the other one. This one goes up way high. And I'm going back and forth because it kind of looks like the water. So that's why I'm using a side to side. And friends, is it okay if it's not perfect? 100%. So I'm not, so you can imagine the water's moving. And so it, the image of the buildings is rippling in the light. Now, the only thing I need to try to figure out is how to make this triangle here. There we go. And here. Okay. 
So I feel like I got my, oh, it really does kind of look like the reflection in the water. I'm going to come it back in with some other colors and I'm going to mix some colors in there. I might use a few of the colors that I already created in the cityscapes. I might use some yellows in there too, just to kind of match what I'm seeing. Okay, now for my sky. Um, I do kind of want there to be a sunset -y sky, so I think I'm going to use kind of colors of sunset orange and red, but I think I'm going to have it getting darker to purple around the edges. So I'm going to start with kind of some orange in here in the middle as if the sun is setting, and I am just going right over top of what I've already done. I'm laying my crayon on its side, and I'm just rubbing the sunset scene. And I think more as it getting to dark tonight. And in this one, I really did like a cool color on the bottom, but I think I'm going to try to kind of mirror this a little bit. Uh, and then I might go over it with some blue too. So I'm just going right over top of what I've done. I do want to give it the idea of water. So I am going to come back in and add some more blue in here in spots. I might even turn my crayon sideways and go back and forth to make more kind of like lines. So this is fast, quick art today. And this is about you being um, really exploring your work. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it even more than the first one. I, I, I'm thinking that the difference was in the first one, I took my lines vertically for my uh, reflection in the water. And on this one, I took my lines horizontally. Anyway, friends, I hope you have a great time making a cityscape inspired by Mr. Claude Monet using a variety of colors to blend them together. And I can't wait to see um, or hear about what your art looks like. Happy art making, friends.